Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. In this video, I want to take a moment and talk about the Ice Arrow. So, the Ice Arrow, I believe, was the second hero equipment, the second epic hero equipment we got in Clash of Clans. And it was, like, really hyped. Like, everybody wanted to get it because, like, we saw how strong the Barbarian Gauntlet was. And that thing is immensely strong still to this day. Probably one of the strongest equipments like we have in a game right now. If not the strongest, uh, just by sheer brute strength. I mean, 65% damage reduction. That's going to stay relevant forever unless they nerf it. I mean, that thing cannot be beat. But other than that, uh, I think that's what gave the this arrow, the ice arrow, the initial hype it got. But like now, after several months of owning it, and seeing how much powerful, especially the new equipment, they're going to be. The Ice Arrow is like really nothing to freak out about. Um, so yeah, like let's check out the stats real quick. So I only got it up to level 20. I could level it up to level 21 if I want to. But I'm not going to upgrade it anymore. Because I have a strong feeling it's going to be replaced pretty soon. By either even a regular equipment for the queen next or just another epic equipment that's going to completely overthrow it. I mean, the new epic equipment for the queen is already insanely powerful. It's going to make her, her clones and everything. It's, it's insane. So that's already going to overthrow uh, the invisibil invisibility vial. And the ice arrow, I'm pretty sure it's going to be easily overthrown just because of how basic it is. So let's look at the stats. So literally only three benefits you get from this thing you get slow down percentage slow down duration which wow it looks nice on paper when in reality it's complete trash and then you got dps increase which is really basic as well because you got a dps increase from both the archer puppet and from uh the arrow the giant arrow so there you go if you need any more dps from the queen those are your two solutions right there uh, Archer Puppet's trash, but Giant Arrow, you can make it work in some bases. But yeah, uh, really, this thing is not really worth upgrading. You only really need, uh, like, maybe level 17. I probably over-upgraded it. I regret spending a lot of materials on it. That's why I stopped upgrading it. Because, really, you're not getting anything for your value here. You're not getting anything for your ores. You're getting more slowed on percentage, which is very minimal. It's very negligible. It's not going to help you that much. And then you're getting slowed on duration, too. And it's like the queen is already attacking an object. It's already attacking a target. So what difference is it going to make if it slows it down more? If it's going to keep resetting the amount of time it's slowed down? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it doesn't make any sense. It's not like she's constantly switching targets like left and right. And in very rare situations, she is. Like when she's attacking another hero or CC troops or skeletons. Yeah, okay, now she's going to be spinning around. But it doesn't help. It doesn't help. It's, so it's just there to inflate the, I guess, the, how, how much it uh, usable, how, what the usability of it. God, I'm trying to, it's so trash. It's making my speech trash as well. You know what I'm trying to say, guys. It's not very versatile. It does such basic mechanics. And it's, I think people hyped it up initially because of, you know, the giant's gone, like I was saying earlier. But in retrospect, it's pretty trash, guys. It's not even, I don't even think it's a good, decent equipment. Overall, it's really just trash and it's also because archer puppet sucks so it doesn't really give you much options many options i should say and then you got to use a healer puppet in like niche situations with a recall potion maybe and then the giant arrow it's like a one shot thing and it's like goes horrible with your invisible invisibility vial so yeah like if you still have if this is your only epic equipment for your queen you should not max it out just wait until more comes out and just save your ores because really I mean, look at me personally, like, I have, oh, I dumped most of it out, I forgot on what, I, I don't remember where I dumped my ores out, but 41,000 uh, regular ore, shiny ore, that's what it's called, glowy ore, 4,100, so this stuff caps out easily, the thing you're gonna have to worry about is starry ore, which doesn't cap out easily, I'm barely almost at 300 again, so uh, considering we're getting so many more epic equipments coming into the game, we gotta save as much as we can, and and the other ones just burn on whatever, I guess, useful-ish uh, equipment we have in the in the game right now, which is not that many. So that's my take on it, guys. Um, I really just did not really even play the game. I don't know how you guys want me to construct this video, these Clash of Clans videos. You see, unlike Brawl Stars, I really gotta like 
come up with a topic to talk about because it's the same thing all over again. It's like I'm working on my base, clearing out bushes, attacking a base. Uh, I also wanted to make a video on the Apprentice Builder. I might make another video on that, like a one month like retrospect, I guess, or a one month feedback, some video on that. I don't, spoilers, I don't really like the Apprentice Builder. He's kind of trash, I keep forgetting to put him to work. But yeah, so far in my base, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if people are still going to engage in this video. You see, this is a problem. Of, I don't know what to do with Clash of Clans video. So over here, Spirit Fox. So 265,000 Dark Elixir. I got him level five. We're gonna push him level six. We're gonna keep pushing him up until he gets to level 10. And of course, everything else. We're gonna get those things maxed out as well. And then I'm already maxed out on Elixir and Gold. I think I, think I can burn Elixir until I, I got another lab upgrade to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go get rid of some uh, Elixir. Let's put on our walls, yeah? Because, I mean, that's all I can put it in. Uh, I think that's it for me. Yeah, do I have anything in my CC? No. Okay, so I got two builders available. I already put the, the pet house to work. Uh, I don't have any war attacks. I think I have war attacks in my other accounts. I don't have to do that right now. I keep forgetting about those. I'm going to get kicked out pretty soon if I don't attack anymore. But yeah, so giant bomb. Then I got another thing due in two days. I can make it. I can make it. Oh, wait. Oh, I, I have enough for another giant bomb. I was like, where all my gold go? But I still have some more. So let's do both giant bombs. Just get those things out of the way. And then I'll do... I'll, I'll work on this other uh, giant bomb due from five days from now with that printing spiller just because... I'm not attacking that much anymore. I'm kind of lazy in this game. And uh, there there we go. I completed all my chores for my game. I guess I'll go and attack. I, I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? I mean, I have, I'm not, I don't have anything else to do. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Like, what do you guys think of the ice arrow? I, I mean, like I was saying, it's really useless. That second ability of duration. I'll, I'll even try to show it right here. Like for example, right here, the ice arrow. Let's say I have, um, uh, I, I'm attacking the, the Inferno Tower right here. Like, for some reason, the Queen locks on to, onto it by any chance. And then the Barbarian King starts attacking her. Then the Queen will attack the Barbarian King, and the Inferno Tower will be stunned for, like, three seconds, which is not going to help be that helpful. So that's the only situation where it will really help. Let me deploy troops right now. So I'm going to put a Goblin here, test for bombs and stuff. There we go. Uh, we're going to put an Ice Golem. And then, oh, shit, there's, like, a bunch of things here. My god. Right, we're gonna poison those motherfuckers. We're gonna set everything down. Everything, everything, everything. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go chaos here. You know, just throw a bunch of shit and just put a warden tome. Uh, there we go. So let's put a rage spell. Oh, that thing is already like maximized. I don't know it's targeting, so let's get rid of it. Uh, let's put a clone spell right there. Let's put another rage spell just to get rid of everything and just obliterate everything. So OP. Uh, the, the army's OP, not the, the clone spell. Um, yeah, so the thing is base is, is uh, well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I can't tell. I'm not really good at this game, guys, as I said many times before. But yeah, like I was saying, what could make the ice arrow better, so far Supercell has not been changing the equipments much. They only changed the haste uh, vial. I think it was like a nerf, but it was masked under a, masked under a, what is it called? A uh, bug fix. I don't know if it was a nerf or what, like a 100% nerf or what, but like, excuse me, I had to burp a little bit there. <laughs> but um, that yeah, that, that was pretty much it for the the haste vial, and now I'm gonna use it, and I'm gonna freeze this thing. Um, yeah, my armory is getting kind of destroyed here. Uh, what they can do to buff this thing, if they are ever gonna do balance changes to these equipments, is they need to give the ice arrow like an area of effect. Like for example, if the queen is shooting here, the ice arrow needs to fragment towards these two buildings these these buildings like this whole cluster of buildings right here so it needs to slow down the cannon too for example right there that will make it so much better so much stronger and it will actually be an epic equipment if they do that and it will actually be worth upgrading and not holding on to these things are like stocks kind of it's like you know you, they have potential some of them have potential some of them don't so it's like i'm not putting my stocks in on the ice arrow especially since like you cannot get your ores back it's a one-time purchase and these things are so valuable in the game they're perishable like you can't really replenish them that like, easily so you got to be careful which of these what you spend them on so yeah um, i mean that's my take on the ice arrow uh, the barbarian king stuff is really op like a rage vial and uh giant gauntlet unbeatable combo pretty much it's like you can go ham with that i'm gonna lose the game because i like um oh shit i didn't even well yeah i'm gonna lose well well 
Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm already in Legends League. I don't really need, like, any more help or anything. I'm just goofing around here. Uh, maybe the Barbarian King can clutch it. Oh, yeah, he can. Oh, yeah, sweet. We're gonna win. Alright, so that's gonna wrap it up, guys. If I make this video any longer, I'm just gonna be rambling about random stuff. So, let me know what you think of my opinions on the Ice Hero. Like, to conclude my, my thoughts and opinions, it's not really strong. It needs a buff. It's, it's epic equipment. I think it should have an epic attribute. The... The, like I said, the duration is negligible. It doesn't matter if she's gonna keep attacking the same thing over and over again. It doesn't matter how long it's frozen. If it's gonna keep refreezing, it's gonna keep refreshing the timer. So why does that matter? So it needs like an AOE effect, a splash damage, so it can like freeze multiple things, freeze multiple troops, like freeze a bunch of shit. So it's like that way it actually like has a good impact and it doesn't just freeze one thing at a time when it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, one of the most underpowered equipment so far in this game, like epic equipment, such as say, it's like I mean the rocket spear is trash, and then the fireball one I don't even have. That one is only really niche for a few bases. But uh, other than that, guys, those are my final thoughts. Let me know what you think of my thoughts on the ice arrow. What do you think of the style of video? Do you like me like actually like playing the game while I talk and like doing an attack and narrating over what I'm doing in my base? Or do you want me to just have B-roll playing in the background of like Clash of, Clash of Clans attacks, whatever, and then like me just talking about my thoughts on the game, like what equipment or whatever topic I'm discussing? Let me know what you guys think of, of what you want. So, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Like I said three times already, um, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Clash of Clans video.